gains of democracy and ensure easy access to quality and affordable health care, the leadership of the Oduluwaju Illegal Council Development Area commissioned two primary health care centers on Koka and Ajishigiri Street. The Koka primary health care was refurbished and equipped with world-class facilities, while the PHC in Ajishigiri was built from scratch so residents can have quick access to grade A health services. The council chairman, Razak Kajela, who commissioned the PHCs, said his administration is committed to delivering people-oriented services to residents while charging them to take ownership of the facilities. Look at council development area. Every policies, every programs is geared towards ensuring that we have our footprint in all the world, most especially the three major communities that make Odiolowo, Odiolowo, a local council development area. And what we are doing today is a further demonstration of our firm belief in our political philosophy, which is common pool for common benefit. A fully equipped mobile clinic was also presented to handle health-related emergencies across the LCDA. Guests commended the leadership for this new development. I have never in my life seen the kind of job like this. I have never. Yeah, the chairman has done a tremendous job. And I will advise each and every one of us in Odolowo to come out en masse in the next coming election to participate and vote for him. We, we, we the people of Odulu, is not by talking alone. We people can physically see what Alaji Yerushalayim Zaki has done within the last four years. He has performed beyond expectation. Go everywhere within our locality, you, you feel the impact of this government. There's no, there's no word within our local, local government. There's no word within our local government that will not see the impact of governance. The health facilities we met on ground, we felt there's need for them in order to be upgraded. That we've done with every, the four health centers we had before this one. One of them is the one we earlier commissioned this morning at Coca Health Center. You all witnessed what we have there. Every equipment, furniture, they are all new. It is now upgraded, you know, into the state of heart kind of facility. Having done that, we feel we must move on. And that is why we think there's need for us, you know, to put another one in place in this locality. It's open to everybody, all residents of the local government. Uh, the services we render here, Atinata, delivery, immunization, treatment of malaria and some other ailments like that. Once you have such ailments, come here, you will be attended to at an affordable uh, price. As a primary health care is the first point of call for I mean for people within the community to be able to be attended to. And uh, our plan within uh, the shortest possible time is to make sure that we provide this primary health care center in every single world. This is not the only primary health center we have. We have one in Ajeni Fuja, we have in Kadola, and we have the one we just upgraded at Koka. And so far, so good. They've been adequately maintained. We expect that the community will also support us and you know, join hands with the government to make sure that these facilities are well maintained for the good number, I mean, for the good use of the people within the community. Raza Kajala, in an interview, also assured residents that more people who rented projects are in view. When we are traversing all the nooks and crannies of the local council development area, canvassing and seeking for the votes of our people, one of our promise is to the electorate is to ensure that we provide health services that will be affordable and accessible. So what we are doing here today is in fulfillment 
of that of that electoral uh, uh, promise is the fulfillment of one of the covenants that we had with our with our people. They are projects that are meant for the entire resident of Odiolo Oju, a local council development area, regardless of their status, class, sex, age group, and what have you. Before this uh, edifice is built, they used to walk kilometers. They need to move. Uh, they need to go to Elukeju. Some of them go as far as uh, Ayotuga. And I'm, when I'm talking about, I'm talking of the Mushi side of the local government. Some go to uh, to Fadei, uh, to Fadei. That is Kajola Pamari Air Center. So with these uh, facilities, they don't need to walk long distance to access uh, Pamari Earth, uh, Pamari Earth Care services. All they need to do is that to leave their respective home and walk. Within a matter of minutes, they will definitely get to this place to access the, the, the facilities. The new facilities will ensure improved healthcare service delivery in Ojolo Wojua LCDA.